Jacob Morrison was a blacksmith in Port Bray for many years. Known by King Danau's generals as one of the finest smithies in the kingdom, he worked tirelessly to outfit the Port Bray army during the many years of peace preceding the Nether invasion. When the war began, Jacob was called upon to greatly step up production to outfit the many thousands of new recruits. All was well for years as Jacob and his several new apprentices worked day and night to meet the demand of the ever-increasing fighting force. For three years, he trained his apprentices in his advanced smithing techniques until one day, five years ago, a portal opened just outside the walls of Port Bray. It appeared suddenly with no warning and only moments later, hordes of zombie pigmen poured out and began attacking the guards. The war horn sounded, scrambling soldiers from the barracks and castle above to the fight, and after a lengthy and bloody battle, the pigmen were fought back and retreated to the nether. They left a great number of dead, brave guardsmen and innocent civilians behind, and among them, Britt Morrison, Jacob's daughter. Britt was Jacob's only family and had been tending the fields outside the walls of Port Bray when the attack came. She must have been caught in the first wave of pigmen and not being armed stood no chance against them. Jacob was broken. After grieving for weeks, he attempted to return to work but had no heart for it. King Danau released him from his duties as the king's smithy and Jacob left Port Bray. In the years since, he retired from making tools of war and now just tends the fields of wheat outside the town of Treville, gathering wheat, making bread, and helping to feed the people of Vastin. Everybody and welcome to a brand new episode from the realm of vast and you're gonna have to excuse my voice today I am pretty sick. I feel pretty crappy I was getting sick last episode and here we are two days later and uh, yeah, it is hitting so I sound a lot worse than I than I feel honestly, but but if you can bear with my voice then uh, I will try to build because I've actually been building quite a bit I just uh, I just sound really bad uh, It's mostly not fun at night, but right now we're in mid, mid afternoon when I'm recording this, and uh, yeah, I feel feel okay. Got a nice, warm, hot tea right here, and I am ready to roll. So, I've been building. Where are we? We're in Treville, and uh, one of the uh, one of the Patreon uh, rewards I have set up is a silver tier Patreon reward of if you if you are uh, if you contribute on that tier. Well, first you have my my gratitude, my thanks, and secondly, you get a house in any kingdom of your choice. So, this is for Master Command. Uh, very likely you saw this on the cinematic. I'm not sure yet. I haven't recorded it yet, but, um, but yeah, so for this tier, we kind of work together on, on, you know, like a little bit of the lore, um, of the family and, and who lives here and, and Master Command really wanted a house in Treville, which uh, was stunning to me because, uh, the palette is cobble and, and birch for the most part. So I, you know, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, that's nasty. So I wanted to, uh, you know, I want to try to try to do that. Now I've I've come a long way as a builder since since back when I started Trivial. Let's actually let's let's take a look at Trivial. It's if you're uh, if you're fairly new to the series, you probably haven't seen very much of this. So let me show you some of the houses the way I used to build them. We'll go ahead over here to like what we call like the ghetto, and these are some of the uh, the first houses that I put together in this world. The first one's actually the end, but I I've re I redid some of the concrete, but yeah, this is um, DNA, and I, I, I think, I think it was DNA, uh, built, built this uh, kind of like low income sort of housing area, and it's okay. Uh, it's not very good actually. Uh, now seeing it with sort of a, a two, two or three year advance on building styles and technique, it's all right though. Um, and yeah, you can see how I mean the interiors are yeah very dirty floor and all that kind of stuff but the big thing is is just uh birch this is our birch log in case you didn't know cobble and and birch uh wood you know uh which is not ideal it's not ideal to, to only have those three it's nice to have have a, a fourth a fourth sort of different block so now that i have come a long way as a builder um and i built that in back in season one too but you can still see the build itself is more interesting it's not really great but the palette is still what it is so what i decided to do on this one is uh keep the palette close to the same but also make it a better build and you can see i think that i've accomplished that so 
Uh, we've added uh, sandstone there, which is giving you a birch-like but smooth block that I think works really well. Still the birch, still the cobble. <clears throat> Up on the top, we have a uh, we have a brown. Oh, there my voice cleared up. We have a brown uh, concrete. Yeah, which you know we don't have anywhere else here but that's okay because it still fits in all right and we have this the biggest departure is probably using some of this brown tutor block i just wanted to use some i think it's i think it turned out okay it's okay uh i think it gives a nice highlight there we have it like three or four different places maybe going around and then over here i, I tried to keep the landscape kind of as is and try, kind of try to like pile up a bit of a retaining wall there i think that kind of worked this all used to be trees. The reason why I picked this location is because look at this terrain gen. Isn't that nice? Look at that terrain gen. I mean, man, that's a beautiful spot. So I thought something needs to be built here. So you walk around the side here and you see uh, one thing that you'll notice is this house. There is not a uh, rectangle or square at all. Like I thought that that's just not really how I build these days. You know, I, I, I try to build things on a lot more of angles and a lot more odd shapes and stuff. And, um, Let's try to take off here. Oh, I only have two rockets left. Yikes. Maybe, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just do spectator. Just so we can take a look at it and talk shape. Look at the shape of the house. Here's the shape. So this is the outline that I did on the ground before I did anything else. I did actually try to record this, but um, <clears throat> I had my mics muted. So so that's why we're coming in after something's already built. It's not ideal, but, but it's okay. So again, I stuck with the palette as is for the most part added a little bit of like oak trap doors and things like that but for the most part really stick with the palette but i think the most interesting thing is probably the shape you know the shape is uh not square now it is lined up on the x and the z which is something that i'm not um always really trying to do but here in the back you can see how it kind of skates in a little bit i think it makes it a pretty cool look so what's going on with this tower well the other thing master command said that he wanted if possible um is a windmill so uh that's what we're going to be doing today and we'll be doing a lot of it on camera so i looked at different windmills over on the internet and i just googled you know medieval windmill and fantasy windmill and all this stuff i found some pictures that i liked but some of them were kind of hard to oh you know what? i put my bed inside the house i forgot about that some were kind of hard to translate over. And then as I'm scrolling, uh, who do I find? But I find uh, probably my favorite windmill that I've seen built in the game. And that is by Pixel Brew, who's plays, who plays on Bastion. So it's really cool. Um, so I'm not going to copy Pixel Brew's idea. But one thing that he did that I think is really cool. And a lot of people I, I don't think do necessarily. Hey, buddy. I'm trying to sleep in here. Oh, the monster's nearby. Oh, really nearby. Like, really amazingly nearby. Okay, cool. Uh, one of the things that Pixel does did on his windmill that I think was cool is didn't use any wool. And that's something that, you know, you just see all the time in, in Minecraft builds. What, Minecraft builds a windmill, a lot of white wool. And that that's fine. And maybe it's more uh, realistic. Sure. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but but I, I just don't want to do that because I've seen it so much. So what I want to do is I want to kind of take uh, Pixel Brew's idea and and, and kind of edit it a little bit if as I see needed and uh, and see what I can come up with because I've, I've never built one. So I, I kind of need to get kind of an idea on, on how. I, I The only windmills I've ever seen in my life are these like giant, enormous, white, like fiberglass, you know economy windmill so i don't know what a what a what one of these look i've never seen one so so we're going to kind of take this idea i'm going to get in tower i'm going to build it out a little bit here and uh let me get all set up build some scaffolding out and then we're going to talk about uh the sort of the technique of how the windmill is going to be because it's going to have to come out a little bit so we did I, I put in these stairs here just give it some some oak and some detail and a little bit different brown which i think works pretty well but we need to come out so what i think i'm going to do is shape this in and and stuff but i need to uh i need to get some some scaffolding all that kind of stuff set up so let me let me go do that build and then we'll come back and discuss well it would seem to me that the first thing that i need to do is actually start the windmill i think and then i'll worry about sort of the the, the back end of this and roof and all that kind of stuff after i think that probably makes the most sense so uh first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get one of these guys on here again i i am looking at pixel brews um uh windmill design uh, you know i'm not it's not all gonna be exactly the same but but yeah some some ideas are certainly being taken so and one thing that he did that i thought was so good and so cool is uh again not use wool but but another thing is use some of this some of these logs so he came down too but then he didn't go straight down uh, like a lot of people in this stage oh you know i don't have i, don't, I, I meant to get some fencing i don't know i don't even know like this many <laughs> okay uh yeah, a lot of people, I think, in a situation like this would uh, 
go straight down in a windmill and and that's probably the easiest way to go on it honestly but i don't think it's the best way to go so let's use some fence oh that's not that much okay let's use some fence so we're gonna go down two uh put a fence and this is just such a brilliant way of doing this so down and then uh let's do this okay that's better fence and then oh, oh you know what i thought i would have more room than that but I thought this was super cool. It was a super cool idea to come come down here and bring it down like this. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this. I know I could do the other kind of bark logs, but I but I kind of like that. I kind of like that idea, and I think it's I think it's pretty cool. So let's come up now, and we'll build this. The we'll build the other half of it, which is gonna be one two. Uh, then oh, come back. This guy, and then oh, wow. Man, my fingers are not in the right place. Okay, uh, this is why I don't build on camera, everybody. Okay, let's go here. I, I'm so sorry about my voice. I know it's really probably very challenging to listen to. It, it won't be like this forever, I promise. If this is your first episode of Aston, I'm sorry. I don't usually sound like this. Uh, okay, so that's pretty good, I think. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's cool. And then what I like about using the, the logs is because they're directional, I think it's going to give a lot of um, just like obvious of which way the, the windmill is turned. So it's going to have to go one, two, and then fence. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, okay, I'm going to need, well, I'll probably end up putting a fence there, but let's go this way. I know we're building on camera, man. I can't believe it. I, I can't place any of the right blocks. Like every block I place is wrong. Okay, let's go this one. And then, oh my goodness. Okay, let's try this. Come out. <laughs> oh, okay. We do have I, one thing. We do have we have a lot of dirt here in this in this uh, area because I had to flatten that sort of area over there. I'm not really a big fan of flattening stuff out for the most part, um, but I do think that uh, this area because it's probably going to have crops or something. We'll do something with this cool area. I want something to bring your eye over that that direction. So, all right, let's come up here. This will be a little bit easier. This one, and what we'll do is we'll go well, one two, and we'll go here and here, and then we'll go one two. And we'll go here and here. And then one and two. Perfect. Nailed it. That time. Okay. All right. Let's go take a look. I only have one rocket. I'm going to need to go get more rockets, I think. Or just use ladders or something. Oh, I think it's good. It's really good. It kind of looks like it's spinning. Could it... Maybe it could be one, one more segment big? I do kind of think so, don't I? I mean, don't I? Yes, I do. <laughs> that was a weird, weird thing to say. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think it could go, well, like, one more sort of out. But I like this. I like this look. And I like, I really like that it's not going to have any wool. I think that's a cool and a really unique take. So, again, Pixel Brew. Hey, his channel is linked on my description. Um, we recently, not long ago, had a bit of a, uh, a bit of a small YouTuber um, thing blow up. I'm not going to name any names or do anything like that. But, but um, look, I just want to, I just want to just throw it on the record. If you're building something... If you're building something and you uh, are are taking inspiration from some from someone else, um, give credit. Like always, give credit. You know, it, like always, always give credit to the best of your ability. Look, I, I've talked before about how the end portal is not totally my design. I mean, I, I did like the sort of detail work, sure, but like the idea of having those the way the towers are split up is not totally my design. Um, and I have talked many times about how I, I've been trying and I've you know trying to find who did that, and I can't I can't find it. I've not, I've not been able to track it down. Um, so there's one that I, I couldn't give credit, but I, but I but you know you, you got to try. You got to try your best to give credit where credit's due. And even if it's an accident and you learn later that like oh you know what i think I, I was actually inspired by um by this uh this person's build or whatever and it doesn't have to be a youtuber it doesn't matter if it's youtube or not it's the the idea isn't oh they it's a it's a youtube thing the idea is that it's an art thing like i mean that's that's what this is whether you whether you like to admit it or not this game is this game is art you know okay i can't i can't can't talk and do this at the same time oh i need more okay so anyway, so yeah, so um, please, please give credit, you know, give credit where, where credit's due as, as much as you possibly can. It's just, it's just the right thing to do, you know. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more fence, so let's just make a lot. And it's got to be probably, I mean, I could do a combination of fence, actually. Actually, you know what? I lied. I want to do a combination of fence. Forget it. I want to do, I want to do oak. There we go. 
and let's also make some, or I mean, I said oak, but I, I, I did spruce. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Let's let's throw some, darn it, again, huh? Okay. Oops, oh boy, there we go. <laughs> I just, everything's going wrong. Okay, let's go here. Anyway, so yeah, so just finishing that about 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 um, giving credit and inspiration, please uh, just, just, just do it. Just give credit. Like, I think that people sometimes think of, um, like, <laughs> that, that folks will, oh boy. Folks will think like less of them if it, it, like, oh, well, if you know you, if, if they find out that it's not my original idea, but no one cares. No one cares. Like if you just give credit uh, where, where sort of credits do, then, then everyone wins. You know, I mean, uh, most people, most people don't just subscribe to one channel. So if you give credit to another channel, uh, then, then that's, that's, that's great for everyone. That's like a win, 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 win. Right. I mean. Um, I've not been shy and I've mentioned, uh, dozens, literally dozens of times, um, including to the point of even where I include it uh, and have included it on all of my video descriptions for years. Um, you know, who, who this series was inspired by, uh, you know, being, uh, like Walls Knight, BWO, Jermsey Boy, uh, Flip, you know, those guys, uh, you know, because no one, it's not like people aren't going to be like, oh, well, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna subscribe to you because it's not your original idea. It's just, just, you know, I don't know, man. You know, just give, just give credit. I'm getting off my soapbox right now. I promise I am. But, but, um, it's just, it's just the right thing. You know, it's just the right thing to do. That's it. That's it. No biggie. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at this. I need to do that one's good. I need to go up one more. Okay, let's go up here. <clears throat> um. So yeah. So anyway, like, like I've been saying, Pixel Bruce windmill design is a uh, link. Uh, well. Uh, yeah, I'll link his windmill video. Sure. Okay. We'll link his, his windmill video so you can see it. And also, uh, his channel, of course, is linked in all my videos because it's wonderful. And, uh, you should go, go, go check it out and give, give Pixel Brew some, some extra loving, some extra fix it loving. Okay. Let's go take a look at this. I should be sleeping as well. I love this semi-harvested field. I love it so much. Oh, that's perfect. That's a perfect size. That's a perfect size. Okay. So now the next thing is going to be a little bit tedious. So I might do it off camera because it's going to be a lot of get up there and, oh yeah, look at this. It's a party. It's a zombie party. Uh, what's Iron Man say? I'm bringing the party to you. And then Black Widow says, I don't see how that's a party, right? I'm getting delirious in my, uh, on my, my sickness medication. <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay. I, I'm going to go sleep. I'm going to do some of this building off camera and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay. Oh, oh there's, it's, it's a fight. Where? Come on. Get down here. Get down here. You jerk. Anyone else? No. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Well, so after all the talk about how, yeah, I'm not going to use white wool, I'm going to use uh, this great pixel brew design, and it's going to be all wooden and all that kind of stuff, I made it out of white wool. And the reason why, I so I did it. I did it the other way, and I think what there it didn't work for me, and I, I couldn't figure out why, and I think I just put my finger on the, on the, the problem. It was because this whole building is so brown. It's so brown that whenever this was also brown, it just didn't stand out at all. And I want the windmill to stand out. You know, it's supposed to be, um, well, I mean, it's there for, it's there for, for use, not for, not for aesthetics. But as far as Minecraft goes, it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be something really cool to look at. And, and, uh, and when it, when it blends in like completely, well, then it's not that cool to look at. So you can't see it. So let me get rid of all the scaffolding here. And uh, I just I've been putting stuff away finally after this building. Oh, man. Wow. So this, let me just tell you, I had to go get fireworks. This this build was not that much fun. It was a lot of pillaring up, dropping down, pillaring up, dropping down, pillaring up, dropping down. You know, that at some point starts to uh, starts to wear on you just a little bit. It does. It starts to wear on you just a little bit. But, yep, more. <clears throat> Okay, so tear down all the scaffolding and then we can we can discuss it. And I think it came a long way. And I want to plug something. Um, I know I was just talking about giving credit where credit's due. Uh, this is not really that necessarily. But uh, Flip put out a video. Uh, well, yesterday for me, I, I'm actually out. I'm, I'm recording this out a couple days. So, but it's it's how to build a castle. And uh, it was kind of a time lapse -y, almost Grian-like talking. And I can't recommend it enough. So if you lovely if you are not sure how to how to build a castle um i think go, go go check that out because it's really it's really well put together some really good thoughts on building double wide walls and and, uh, and why and uh uh sort of interesting diagonal lines my goodness how high is this really really wow this is much higher than i thought okay there we go uh anyway yeah so it, you can find it pretty easily on on, on flip's channel that's in case you're in case you don't know it's f 
W H I P. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool tutorial. I, I really I really enjoyed watching it and just wanted to wanted to plug it out there. Um, so what do you think of this? Also, by the way, while I'm plugging videos, uh, um, Mythical Sausage put out a video that is tremendously funny. It's called Coming Soon on his channel. If you didn't see it, I linked it in my Discord. But if you didn't see it, uh, the the dude is hilarious. Like I'm not. I'm not really a laugher. I'm not someone who laughs. Um, I mean, you know, I, I think I have a pretty good sense of humor, and I think, but I, but my humor is a little bit more dry. It's kind of sarcastic a little bit, which doesn't always play well when people don't know <laughs> don't know you that much. But but yeah, my sense of humor is kind of dry, and so you know, people who have gen like really dry sense of humor sometimes don't laugh all that much. Like you, you kind of you smile, and you think something's really funny, but it's just not like a big belly laugh. I'll tell you what, freaking sausage, sausage makes me laugh. Like, like he makes me laugh more than just about any comedy on, on movie or TV show. I just watch and it's like, I just sit there and just smile and laugh and, and it's really cool. So yeah, you know, check out, check out that video and everyone else here at Building on Bass and who's doing just wonderfully, wonderfully great things and entertaining videos and really cool, creative, awesome builds. Speaking of creative, awesome builds, I don't know if this is one of them. <laughs> that was, that would have been really arrogant if I said, look at this, but. Uh, man, my voice is really killing me. I, I I don't blame you at all if you turn off this video and go listen to some like peaceful, tranquil, tranquil music. Like uh, get some harp on there or something that's gonna gonna kind of set your ears at ease after after the painful scratchiness of my voice. Anyway, uh, I want to get this done. I this is how much I love you. This is how much I love my 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 YouTube friends, my viewers. I love you guys so much. You spend time coming out of your day to come watch these videos, and darn it, scratchy voice or not, I'm putting out a video. I'm putting out a video Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, uh, most likely. Hell or high water, probably. That, that, that's, isn't that the Pony Express? Not rain, not sleet, not snow, not uh, scary noises. We'll keep, our, we'll keep the mail from being delivered, probably. I, I think that's how it went. I'm pretty sure that's it. Do you guys ever see The Postman movie, The Postman? It's really good, Kevin Costner movie. I love Kevin Costner movies. I love Kevin Costner movies so much. I defy you to tell me a bad Kevin Costner movie. And everyone's going to say Waterworld. That is not true. Waterworld is actually not bad at all. When you watch it, it's actually pretty good. The problem is the budget was huge and it lost a ton of money, so it got a reputation. But but Waterworld is, Waterworld is not bad. And The Postman is one of my favorite movies. The Postman is really good. It's a post-apocalyptic world where Kevin Costner um, finds uh, a mail truck to take shelter in in the, in the night. And uh, he wears the jacket because he's cold. And all of a sudden, he sort of becomes a postman and, and gives people hope. And it's really good. So go watch Kevin Costner movies uh, and watch Flip Castle building video and watch Sausage coming uh, soon and, and everything else I told you. Okay? So that's a whole lot of homework. Go do all that stuff. Did I mention that I'm on some, um, I'm on some, uh, some cough medication right now? Maybe I did. Maybe you can tell. I don't know. Okay, so what do we think of this? Is this good? Is this good? This is the most scattered I've ever been. Is this good? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I feel like it's the right size for that. Um, can I hit the bullseye? Yes, I did. Yes, I nailed it. Nailed it first try. Nailed it. I defy you to uh, to tell me any different. That's just a that's a glint in the sun. So uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think I think the build is pretty good. I think what the, what I need is I need a roof on the top of that, and that is going to take some time. What I want to do is now what I would do is I would put a real tall kind of peaked roof on this, but I can't do that. The reason why I can't do that is because I need to make it fit with Travil. Travil has all sort of your normal you know like walk here, then here, then here at roofs. That's that's the slant. That's what Travil's style is. So I need it to fit in there. So I'm just gonna do the most basic Travil um, thing that you can do right here and make it fit. And then I'll come back and we'll talk about it and probably a bunch of other random stuff the way I'm going right now. How's that? Good? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. It's not time. It's nighttime. I am, uh, I'm getting attacked every which way, but I want to take a look at this at night and then again at day. I feel pretty good about it, honestly. I, uh, man, don't feel pretty good about the just sheer amount of, of mobs that are out here. Uh, but I feel pretty good about, about everything. Let me show you the, um, the build. Yeah, I think it's cool and it's a unique, it's a unique design for a build that I think has really worked out well. I got to do a bunch of landscaping and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to do that next. I'm doing that all in one episode, believe it or not. That's right. I know after like six episodes of the shipyard, we're doing this in one. Uh, but you can see up there that I, uh, pretty simple design, you know, not, not a lot, not a lot to it. Kind of put a little outcropping up there. I think it works really well. And uh, yeah, it's time to sleep. Okay, time to sleep. Let's go into sleep. And uh, you know what? This could use a basement door. Oops. Yeah. Well, 
make a basement door. Like, right, a secret one. Okay, that's probably why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do I have, okay. Let's go a little bit of cobble, just fill this in. Okay, um. How, how, do I, how do I get to the top? Oh, yeah, right. There's no interior yet, of course. Not even lights. For crying out loud. Why don't I put some lights in here? Every time I walk in here, there's zombies just hanging out here. Uh, you know, something I learned just recently here, like not today, but a couple days ago, is that I believe that the creeper, uh, no creeper damage data pack that we use, which is the Hermitcraft one, I believe that it actually stops creepers from even hurting you, which it, I got to say, I, I'm kind of drug about that. I think creepers should hurt you, even though that's, Dying is a drag, but they should blow you up. Watch this. Let's test. Go ahead. Yeah. So that's not fun. I like mob grieving off because that way you can do villager farms and you can do uh, snowmen and all that kind of stuff. But I don't like that creepers can't hurt you. I'd like that they don't blow up the ground. I like that for sure, but I don't like that they can't hurt you. So uh, may need to look for a different data pack on that one. There should be some fear. You know, I mean, this game is so easy as far as not dying generally after you've been playing for a little while. But um, you hate to take away like one of the things that can actually one shot you if you're not paying attention. But you know what? I feel really good about this build. Uh, I did feather in some andesite there. I'd like to maybe put in some windows if we get a basement, but maybe not to uh, definitely going to need a lot of shrubbery. So and definitely definitely not birch so we gotta, gotta get away from the yellow leaves for this area so i need to go harvest a bunch of that stuff i don't do i have shears somewhere sitting around let me go find my shears and i'll just cut down some some more oak trees i actually brought all the all the stuff with me from uh the the ice kingdom the yet to be named which we gotta get a name pick i got a bunch a ton a ton of really good suggestions so hopefully we'll find one that's made. Do, I, do i have shears i guess i don't oh my goodness Okay, I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, it just occurred to me right now that this video is going out on Christmas Day. Uh, I just looked ahead and saw that Tuesday is the 25th, and I, I do aim, I think I said this on the recording, I don't remember, for Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Bassin videos, as best I can. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, those uh, those who celebrate it, and, and those who don't, uh, hope you have a, an amazing day as well. Uh, yeah, Christmas Day, wow. And this is going to be a special Christmas for, for me and, um, and my boys. Is I have a you know, one-year-old and a three-year-old, and they're just kind of, um, I think, getting to the part, the point where, uh, well, not the one-year-old, but the, the three-year-old is getting to the point where, like, he's like, oh, you know, present for me? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, man. Like, you know, open it up. It's super cool. So I'm looking forward. We have, we have a couple things I think he's really going to like. And, yeah, it's, it's as, a, as a, I mean, it's fun as a kid, but I, mean, I got to tell you, even last year, even when he didn't really understand what's going on, being just two years old, um, last year was, was, was pretty awesome. It was like one of my best, uh, one of my best days as a, as a father. It was like uh, seeing sort of his, um, uh, just seeing his, his kind of reaction and just stuff. And actually, I think the one year old's kind of getting, it's like, oh, you know, new toys. Maybe he doesn't, he doesn't know why and, or anything like that, but, um, I think he's starting to kind of get the idea. So, <clears throat> Yeah, really cool. Super, super cool. And, and uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like, I think it's going to be uh, one, of the, one of the best days I've ever had. We did, um, we did, uh, his preschool did their Christmas concert, um, which I mean, it's, it's three-year-old Christmas concert, you know, so, so it's a lot of just kind of listening to the teacher sing. And I would imagine that if you're not a parent, it's not, it would sound, uh, it would sound like the worst time imaginable, but, um, as for our perspective, it was a, uh, it was a magical day. And I, I, I mean that, I mean that sincerely, like seeing him, um, uh, stand there, uh, with the other kid. I don't know. I, I, you might, if you don't know my, uh, my older son is autistic, um, and he's doing great, but, but we go through a whole lot of therapy to, to, to keep that up, you know, and, uh, uh, to see him stand there with the other kids. And that was, that was, that was at times, that was something that I, I quite honestly didn't know if that would happen like ever and um i it just it, it couldn't have been it couldn't have been a, a cooler and, and and better feeling to, to kind of watch that watch that happen and i was just so so over like overwhelmingly just just proud of him and and uh yeah it was it was just it was super cool do i have any dirt i have some dirt okay let's get some slabs in here so anyway so yeah so it's it's, it's that time of year you know and and uh 
uh just like a, a thankful giving time you know i i'm 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 so grateful for for this game and for um for 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 you uh my youtube friends and people who come out uh day after day and, and and check these videos out actually you know what maybe yeah maybe well actually hold on if you don't know what these dirt slabs are they're they're petrified petrified oak which is really really old in the game and it's never been removed so uh germ in his infinite wisdom changed it to a dirt slabs and then we just put in a custom recipe that's how you get dirt slabs we only only we have it and probably other people but only we that i know of have dirt slabs in the game anyway you know what i think we're in a good place i'm going to do some landscaping i might plant some fields here what i think i might do actually is kind of come over here and grab like do this kind of thing like as if this whole thing has been harvested maybe but this has been uh a, a really <laughs> quite a long build it's taken a long time and and i think i'm gonna go lay down and rest my voice a little bit but uh thank you master command this is your uh this is your patreon um silver silver tier episode and I, I really appreciate uh you contributing to the the channel and to uh, keeping the servers open and all that kind of stuff both here in fast and dimensions so really really does help out and um that's it for me i love you guys all thank you so much for coming out i really do like i say i really really appreciate it i'm very grateful that people are like hey i want to spend i want to spend half an hour of my life you know two or three times a, a week hanging out with fix in his world and uh, please subscribe to all my friends who are amazing builders amazing content creators um uh, just good people. They're really good people. And um, I sure like watching their videos. So I'm going to cough soon. I got to go. Okay. Love you all. Bye.